Hello, massage nurse. Today we're going to be doing lesson 11, which is the muscles of the trunk and vertebral column movements. Today I only drew the anterior part, which is the four abdominal muscles, because I'm doing my best to kind of break it up and make it a little bit easier for, for the students. So you've got your rectus abdominis, your external oblique, internal oblique, and your transverse abdominis. And we do have an external and internal obliques on both sides. I just do it separate so you could see the different fibers. So let's start about uh, talking about the transverse abdominus, which is your deepest muscle. It's, uh, you know, posterior to these three muscles. So it's all the way to the back. You know, it holds in your abdominal cavity. You know, it holds all the internal organs. And you can see it starts from the, you know, from the seventh rib. And then I, it, I drew it on both sides. It's the brown one that I drew on both sides. And it goes, you know, horizontally, okay? And uh, then you have your external oblique and your external oblique fibers go diagonal this way. It's like when you put your hands in your pockets, that's your external oblique. If you put your hands in your pockets, they don't go all the way to the middle. Usually, the hands go like, you know, like around right here. Your external oblique is the same way. It doesn't go all the way to the middle. It goes right here just to the side of the rectus abdominals. And then your internal oblique, the fibers go the opposite way. So if you put your hands in your pocket this way, then, then uh, this is the external, you know, uh, oblique. The internal oblique crosses that. Their fibers go crosswise because this is, you know, a natural girdle that we have to keep our abdominal cavity inside. This is what is very important for you guys that, you know, that want to build a six pack and want to have, you know, strong core muscles that you also work your internal and external obliques. Okay, they all originate here, you know, on the iliac crest and the pubis. The rectus abdominis originates in the pubis and inserts all the way up here to the fifth, you know, through seventh rib, right underneath the uh, siphoid process from the sternum. Most people think that we only have a six pack, that there's six sections, when in reality we have eight, eight to ten sections. And uh, however, you can only really see six. And they are split, you know, they connect right here to the linea alba, which is right straight down the middle. And then you have your, the aponeurosis, where the other muscles, you know, um, connect to it. And that's what, you know, the aponeurosis, remember, it's a, it's a, a flat sheet tendon. So you've got very strong tendons, you know, that attach it and connect it. And I want to show you guys, you know, like for the different movements. So flexion. If you flex your torso, you know, you're, you're bending forward. The muscles, you know, the origin's down here because it's flexing you. It's flexing your abdomen. And then the back part will be the ones that pull you back up, okay? We didn't draw, I, I didn't draw the ones in the back. I just wanted to show you flexion, and it takes these four muscles. So flexion would be the psoas major. If you guys remember from the previous lesson, the psoas major is the main hip flexor. And that one originates from the T12 to lumbar 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it crosses diagonally and inserts at the lesser trochanter of the femur. So that one's involved in the flexion of the torso too. And then the external oblique, the internal oblique, and the rectus abdominis. All of those muscles are for flexion. Now for extension, I'll talk about that in the second, in the second uh, part. And then rotation, so when you rotate, that is the internal oblique, the external oblique, and the transversal spinalis from the back. So those three muscles are for rotation. And then for lateral flexion, when you go sideways, that will be the rectus abdominis, the external oblique, internal oblique, quadratus lumborum, semispinalis, and multifidi, and erector spinae. Those are also in the back. So it takes the anterior and posterior muscles to really help you do any movement. And I, I've always taught my students that origins are the least movable because the insertion always moves towards the origin. And you have the rectus abdominis straight down the middle and you have two points, and you're trying to figure out, well, which one is the origin, which one's the insertion, because they're both in the mid part of the body. So now you've got to, you know, 
make your brain think a little bit and figure, okay, what does this muscle do? It flexes, right? So it originates here at the pubis, so in order to flex, it's got to pull down. So the inferior part would be the origin, right? Correct? Because this part is pulling in order to flex. The same thing with the external oblique here, and, you know, they both are right here at the iliac crest. So, and this one also the um, gets close to the pubis. So they they pull down in order to flex. So that's how you know the difference between the origin and the insertion. And I also want to tell you guys that we found a couple of mistakes. I, I usually use two references, my app to the trail guide to the body and uh, the book. And I found that they said, you know, the rectus abdominis, they had it back, they had it different. You know, they had the origin as the insertion and then the insertion is the origin in both different apps. So the reason I'm letting you guys know is because I have found mistakes in books. I have heard doctors make mistakes. I make mistakes. I do my best to correct them. And I always tell you, the reason I'm telling you is because I want you guys that if you are sure that, you know, this is the way you learned it, you know, check it out. Look up, look up your sources, you know, find out if, you know, if somebody along the way has made a mistake. So I, I mean, that's, that's just what I do because we did find a mistake today, you know. So um, anyway, I wanted to show you guys the, these are the abdominal muscles and there's four layers. The um, transverse abdominus is the deepest and the rectus abdominis is the most superficial. We have eight sections and we can only really see six and which what makes your six pack. They're very important, you know, for to keeping your core strong so that you can, you know, be strong and keeping your gut in. And we have a natural girdle. This is where girdles come from, guys. You know, from our, they've looked at our natural girdle, you know, the internal and external oblique really keep your abdominal, you know, um, internal organs and you know and strong so for you that you work out make sure you work out the external obliques internal obliques and your rectus abdominals and then you're going to look really flat and you don't need a tummy tuck <laughs> anyway guys i hope this helped you this is going to be your homework to draw the four muscles of the you know of the trunk and i next time we'll do part two this is lesson 11